In the world of e-paper smartphones, there is literally only one company that does it to any realistic degree, Hisense. Thank you to Hisense for sending us this sample. This is the Hisense A6L, and it's actually been slightly revised for the 2023 year in the form of a museum edition, collaborating with the Xi'an Museum in China. Other than Hisense, there truly aren't any other options or manufacturers that make a solid product, but these guys have been in the game forever. This unit is also slightly different than, impressively, the other 14 devices they have in their lineup in that it does not only feature an e-paper screen, but an LCD screen on the other side, and both can be used on their own. So let's check out the forgotten review by Goody Reader, the A6L. For this video, we're not going to focus on this side. This is the LCD LED side. We'll show it here and there, but we're not going to focus on it because that's not what this is about in the slightest. It is about what is on the other side and how to trigger that is pressing the e-ink button. All you have to do is press it once, flip it over, and there you go. It turns into this exact thing. This is an e-reading experience. If you don't know what e-readers are, if you're scrubbing through the video thinking this was an LCD phone, this is like a Kindle now. This is a dual screen device that has a smartphone on one side, an e-reader effectively on the other side, at no expense to the device's thickness at all. In fact, it's thinner than other smartphones and has a glow light, which we're going to turn off, obviously, because it's a little bit blue. And we'll show you that near the end of the video. Now you have two options with this. You can utilize this to use the launcher which is the way that they've skinned it so the launcher is something we'll touch on real quick is just a couple panels so you get your clock you get your calendar you get your ringer your bluetooth data connection and wi-fi you get your battery down below you swipe over there's a card you get wechat that's it that that's the whole thing but you might be thinking well that's not a whole lot i can do with it how do i expand on this it's actually quite simple you click the three dots at the bottom you go to e-ink settings and down here you'll see use e-ink launcher we want to change that to just conventional desktop now when you go back it is the actual phone being mirrored. There will be no difference between this and the LCD portion. By the way, to get back to the LCD portion, get your thumb ready on the trigger. That's the power button. Click it once, flip it over, and you're back with the LCD portion. So that's kind of how you go in between the two things. The LCD can be used as is with all your kind of fancy schmancy smartphone things, or you can flip it over and use the e-ink portion. We're going to stick to this as much as possible. You'll see that this is now the full phone. It's in, in its entirety. We have no differences between the front and the back. We have all of our apps. We have the top drop down. You'll see all of your things here. You have data communication expanded much more on than it was a second ago with the skinned version. And you have your camera. We'll show you in a bit. Notes, game mode, all that fun stuff. So we will get into all this. But the first thing we want to do is obviously go and read some ebooks. Because this unit is so small, you can turn pages with one hand. Obviously on any device you can turn pages with one hand, but it's easy to do on this because you can reach across the entire screen. You can see even though I don't have piano hands, I can reach very comfortably across the screen with no problem. And because this is the Kindle app and not the actual Kindle, you can go down here to the settings and utilize the volume controls to page turn. And what that means is now I can hold it like this and comfortably turn pages using the volume control. And it's quite fast. This is a very fast experience. You can burn through a book like nothing. This is very nice. And again, we're gonna do this a lot because I love showing it off. You can swap it over and use the LCD side. So you know what? It is the best of both worlds because to be honest, the e-ink side is much slower than LCD, of course. So if I'm going to do this, you might say, well, it's a little bit laggy, although it's kind of not. It's really quick. But if you're getting to a point where you're like, you know what? Oh, man, I don't want to navigate through all this and it's so slow and it didn't do what I wanted it. You know what? Go to this side, get the job done, go to fonts. You know, you can really burn through it a lot easier like this change what you want to change, go to themes, go to layout, and be like, okay, it's the way I want to look at, now I can flip it over and read it. And then you just read comfortably with your ideal settings. So that's the beauty is that they give you that getaway. They give you that out. 
if you want to go ahead and use the LCD temporarily. Now we're going to look at manga really quick because this is going to be a, the biggest difference. You'll notice that the manga here is in color because it's a color LCD screen. Now if you flip it over, it is no longer in color. Now, four or five years ago we might say, you know, that's the way it is, but there have been big strides in color technology and there's four color e-ink phones right now. So there's definitely colors made some leaps and bounds, but for the most part this one is not color, it is black and white. But that doesn't slow you down from the quality because the quality is quite high and it is a very quick experience. Again, if you're kind of hindered by the amount of lagginess with an e-paper screen, you have that escape and you can go over here. We'll kind of show you parallels with each section with the LCD portion and the e-paper portion, but for the most part, you're going to have no problem reading manga on this whatsoever. Specifically, the A6L is at a little bit of a disadvantage when it comes to speed modes because this doesn't have any in the traditional sense. You will see that on most e-paper devices that are high sense, you can go and take the drop drop the top down and you'll see various speed modes smooth clear speed etc or normal now when you go over to this one you actually only have two options clear and smooth now it's a little bit convoluted the way you have to do this you can either choose all clear or all smooth or individual ones for example I can choose everything to be smooth mode in which case everything is going to be set to smooth meaning that a2 mode quote unquote will be present throughout every single application or I can change everything to clear and pick and choose what I want to be faster and it will go through every single application you have included side loaded ones as well so for example if I want to choose browser to be smooth mode only browser will be smooth and that's the way it's going to stay so that when I go over to browser this one's gonna be fast but everything else won't be so it's a kind of a bad way that they went about it. I would have really liked to see them kind of stick with those traditional four speed modes, but again, this is a different beast. It isn't the only screen you live and die by. The speed mode getaway is this. You just get out of the screen and you say, you know what, I need to get my bearings here. Okay, what is that? Okay, and now I know what that is. Flip it over and then leisurely get back into it. You know, you don't have to worry about the speed modes. You don't have to worry about electing which ones are going to be fast and which ones are going to be slow. You have that escape at any point in time to go over to the LCD monitor. So that's the beauty of it and that's why it's different. Other than all of that, there is only one specific realm of settings that has any sort of difference between an LCD LED smartphone and that's the e-ink settings and from here you can do a bunch of things lock screen time you can do how long something is pinned e-ink notification reminder e-ink screen what you want the e-ink screen to be if you want to change it to black and white mode you can reverse all the color or inverse the color application display mode is the speed modes application cover high contrast text which is basically IMG 256 and slide one screen which handles inertia so that that's where you're going to be when it comes to all of your e-ink situational things because this is where it gets controlled from outside of that is just traditional android with a little bit of a high sense ui because it's just the way it's supposed to be you have your personal hotspot you have your bluetooth you have your lan and then you have your notification sound and vibration and everything like that also we must say because a lot of people are always kind of turned off by e paper screens thinking there's some sort of limitation there is not anything you need to do with cameras hear earpieces mouthpieces or audio will still work on the e-ink screen this is just a display style this doesn't make the speaker not work magically just because you're using an e-paper screen it will still work There's absolutely no issue with the camera on the LCD side and it's a little bit different when you go over to the e-paper side. So you can see now everything is very slow and sluggish and this is the way e-paper works. But you must remember, you're not taking the video the way it looks here. It'll be in full color, it'll be in full speed. It's just the only way it can articulate it through this screen to your eyes is through the e-paper panel. So it's going to look distorted, slow, sluggish, and gray, but don't worry, it's not gonna turn out that way if you actually snap with the camera on the e-paper side.
Last thing we're just going to talk about is the fit and finish of this device. At the top of the hour, we told you guys that it came at no expense of the thickness or the weight of the device. The fact that they put this together is absolutely miraculous. No other device, no other brand, no other maker is doing it anywhere near Hisense standards. Yoda Phone, Siswu Dark 9, they don't even come close. This thing is packed with literally everything. You have SD, you have SIM, you have fingerprint unlock, you have three cameras at the front, a camera at the back, you have a 3.5mm headphone jack, you have speakers, you have everything on this unit and it's still as thin as can be with two screens and two sets of lighting. You have the LCD backlight and the glow light for the e-ink panel. It is insane to think that they didn't just glue two phones together, how they crammed everything into this small package that is actually as thin or thinner than traditional smartphones is nothing short of a miracle. This thing has no downsides. It's an aluminum block with glass on the front and back. The fit and finish is perfect. It's not creaky. It's not low quality by any stretch of the words. Much like the A6, this features the same concept in that you can utilize the front or back or both in different ways. You could easily buy this and never use the front LCD screen. This truly is the best of every single world. I mean heck, in the box they give you two cases, never before seen by any e-paper product to date. This unit truly has zero downside. Thanks for watching.